Well, scientists say climate change has already made allergy season longer and pollen counts higher. No one wants to hear that. But there's new evidence it's going to get even worse. Yeah, great. Meteorologist John Aarons looks into why that might be bad news for anybody suffering with those allergies. It just honestly sucks. If you have allergies, you're probably suffering right now. Just suffering with nasal congestion and uh, coughing a lot. To make matters worse, climate change will make allergy season even more unpleasant, according to a new study published in the journal Nature Communications. Now, climate scientists over at the University of Michigan looked at over a dozen types of pollen here, and they used different simulations to try to figure out what allergy season would be like in, let's say, the year 2100. And they found out that the allergy season would be starting weeks earlier, last days later, and be worse during the entire season. Those scientists say warmer weather allows plants to bloom earlier and keeps them blooming later. Additional carbon dioxide in the air from burning fuels helps plants produce more pollen. The southeast is predicted to be hit the hardest. Because um, I love to be outside, that you know puts a damper on me being out as often. Really, it's already happening. Allergists say pollen season in the U.S. used to start around St. Patrick's Day, but now it often starts around Valentine's Day. So what can you do to manage your symptoms? The Mayo Clinic suggests reducing your exposure to allergy triggers, staying indoors on those dry, windy days, delegating lawn mowing, uh, keeping your indoor air clean by using things like air conditioning in your house and a dehumidifier, also trying over-the-counter medications. If your symptoms are still unbearable, you got to see the doctor.